Have you ever stopped to think about what your values mean to other cultures? What if the virtues of freedom and kindness that many of us lead by were considered worthy of punishment by someone else? The anomaly we'll explore today delves into how blind faith can lead to atrocities and practices not too far removed from our own reality. Item number SCP-2427 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Area 2427 has been established around SCP-2427-1 for the purpose of the study and containment of SCP-2427. A 500-meter perimeter around SCP-2427-8 has been designated the center of Area 2427, using a private elite country club as a front. Intruders are to be given amnestics and turned away. All sub-instances under SCP-2427 are to be contained according to their individual containment procedures. The undocumented anomalous objects are to be discovered as soon as possible via exploration. Description SCP-2427 is a collective designation for all abnormal phenomena associated with SCP-2427-B, accessible via SCP-2427-A. SCP-2427-A is a broken stone staircase 10 kilometers southeast of Ohio. According to local legend, any person who ascends the staircase while holding a spring of hemlock will enter an extradimensional area, hereafter known as SCP-2427-B. Foundation scientists have confirmed this and have also determined that SCP-2427-B can be exited by a descent of SCP-2427-A, for which hemlock is also required. SCP-2427-B is a circular plateau, 3 km in diameter. It superficially resembles a forested hill in the American Midwest. The solar time never changes from 2 p.m. inside SCP-2427-B. Any person who breaches the forested border of SCP-2427 will be destroyed via air bombardment by SCP-2427-5. So far, there have been seven types of anomalous objects observed within, but several other types of objects, undocumented by the Foundation, have been noted by information discovered on site. Through documentation located inside the foyer of SCP-2427-2, SCP-2427-B has been determined to be a storage area for anomalous weapons, tools, and prisoners for a religious organization known as the Brazen Heart. The existence of several other such attics, as they have designated the storage area, hidden throughout the world, has also been implied. The Brazen Heart was previously believed to have been a mode of worshipping cult eradicated during the Spanish Inquisition. They expressed extreme animosity for the Foundation and humanity at large, but the Foundation has yet to interact with any professed members of the organization. As such, it is unknown how active the Brazen Heart is at this time. Item number SCP-2427-1 Special Containment Procedures An electrified perimeter around SCP-2427-1 has been established. SCP-2427-1 is not to be opened under any circumstances. Description SCP-2427-1 is a fire hydrant constructed of lead, located nearest to SCP-2427-A within SCP-2427-B. When opened, SCP-2427-1 will eject high amounts of ionizing radiation from within. The exact amount of this radiation has not been measured, but has proven sufficient to melt human flesh near the opening. Item number SCP-2427-2 Special Containment Procedures SCP-2427-2 may only be entered by staff authorized to work with SCP-2427-3 through SCP-2427-5. Description SCP-2427-2 is a building in the center of SCP-2427-B that superficially resembles a sanitarium from the 1860s. Though SCP-2427-2 is a large, multi-storied building on the outside, the interior is an area of non-Euclidean space displacement, comprising only one floor and three rooms with a central foyer. The first room contains SCP-2427-3, the second contains SCP-2427-4, and the third contains a collection of religious documents, canned goods, and bottled water. Item number SCP-2427-3 Special Containment Procedures 
A reinforced steel door has been installed at the entrance of SCP-2427-3. The windows have been paid over with concrete, and armed guards have been placed. SCP-2427-3 is to be fed one live goat, once daily. Failure to do so will result in a containment breach. No line of sight is to be established between SCP-2427-3 and any personnel. Direct images of SCP-2427-3 are to be considered lethal cognitive hazards, and exposure is to be treated with Class A amnestics. Description SCP-2427-3 is a hostile biomechanical construct built from electronic circuitry, the digestive tract of a cow, one hairless head of a human male, a hat rack, several lengths of ordinary garden hose, and crystalline structures of unknown composition. SCP-2427-3 is carnivorous and exhibits extraordinary physical strength and speed. SCP-2427-3 is capable of speech and professes a desire to devour all impure life. Any person who directly observes SCP-2427-3 will begin to have an overwhelming desire to meet SCP-2427-3 to have their purity judged, believing that a positive judgment will result in one granted wish. The parameters for this purity are unknown. SCP-2427-3 has so far not encountered a pure life form. Item number SCP-2427-4 Special Containment Procedures Experimentation with SCP-2427-4 will continue as needed. As the effects have been determined to have no dangerous repercussions, the pool of test subjects does not necessarily need to be restricted to the class personnel. Description SCP-2427-4 is the entirety of the second room in SCP-2427-2. Once a human subject steps on the linoleum floor, the subject will lose consciousness for approximately 5 minutes, during which the subject will already list a series of apparent negative qualities about themselves. Upon regaining consciousness, the subject will have no memory of their monologue. SCP-2427-4 Test number 23 Subject D-2518 Please enter the chamber. D-2518 enters SCP-2427-4 I don't feel... D-2518 faints. My soul is a den of spiders. Hear my confession. Forty years old, and I have never taken a pure wife. I have never conceived a strong boy to race into the armies of truth. The only consolation my whimper in mind has taken is from fictional works of irrelevant fantasy and utter sinful distractions and lies. I have done nothing to destroy myself, and for this, I have inspired hatred in all who observe. I cringe at the concept of purity for I know it is my better. I am deceit and cowardice. I am wrenched disgust and ineptitude. My soul is not worthy to become as one with the heart of brass. O oh, hearer, whence I awaken, Hesitate not to feed my flesh and my soul to the judge, beast. D-2518 awakens. W where am I? Item number SCP-2427-5 Special Containment Procedures SCP-2427-5 is not to be directly observed for more than 3 seconds at a time by any personnel. Description SCP-2427-5 is a stationary cloud position over SCP-2427-B. When observed by a human subject for more than 3 seconds, SCP-2427-5 will eject a ball of solid lead, approximately 1 meter in diameter, at a supersonic speed towards the observer. SCP-2427-5 will also attack those who attempt to leave the perimeter of SCP-2427-B in the same manner. This has resulted in 14 personnel fatalities so far. Item number SCP-2427-6 Special Containment Procedures Only the hypothesis that SCP-2427-6 is the result of human contagion can be rolled out. SCP-2427-6 instances are to be isolated as such in independent biohazard containers. Description SCP-2427-6 is a series of 18 small trees located throughout SCP-2427-B. Radar analysis has shown that the roots of individual instances have taken the shape of a human body, which fidget frequently, the trunk above ground, 
stems from the human shape scratch. Each instance is adorned with a small sign that reads, the literal suffer what they must, and it is beautiful. Item number SCP-2427-7 Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Testing of SCP-2427-7 has been discontinued. No Foundation personnel are to step inside SCP-2427-7. Description SCP-2427-7 is a pile of ashen wood behind a plate that reads The Liar's Cradle. Testing has revealed that not only does SCP-2427-7 share a title with and operate similarly to SCP-2128, it is an improved version of SCP-2128 that operates properly within the intended parameters as a torture device, similar in that if a human subject speaks falsely within SCP-2128, they are incinerated. As observed by testing, SCP-2427-7 contains no sentient intelligence. SCP-2427's method of immolation is strictly non-lethal and decreases in intensity to prolong life, and SCP-2427-7 will only immolate subjects that specifically tell a lie within its zone of control, rather than state a false fact regardless of intention. Addendum Excerpt from documents recovered in the foyer of SCP-2427-2 Canto 15, verse 294 On Hatred The Christian tells you that hatred is wrong. The Buddhist tells you that hatred is a distraction. The atheist tells you that hatred is unhealthy. Tells you that hatred is fun. Hatred, in reality, is but one of many invaluable tools to return creation to purity. Hatred can work in harmony with love. The nature of the path to purity is irrelevant. All that matters is the sunrise at the end of the path. We must remember the third path between what is wrong and what is right. For when the heart of brass shines again, as it is written, there will never more be an opposite to paradise. Contents of Hemlock Attic Pilgrim provisions and data of no particular sacred nature. One Purge Engine, disguised as a fire hydrant. One House of Sterility. One Level 3 Purity Proctor. One Confessionary. 18 Condemned Leechers. One Leaden Cumulus. One True Liar's Cradle. One Slothering Perseverance. 27 Pyre Children. Three Ascended Cultivars. One Debaucherer, seven Supreme Angelics, three level seven hexagrams, nine dragons, one attic hub nexus, the brazen heart. Memo from Dr. Gordon McElroy, site director of Area 2427, two, all level four staff for hire assigned within SCP 2427 and the Overseer Council. I've been looking over the documentation found on site and the fact that we haven't found some of these things, especially whatever these Supreme Angelics and Dragons might be, is something I find extremely concerning. In addition, what is this Attic Hub Nexus? What is the reason we've never seen these brace and hard guys? Is because they're operating exclusively extradimensionally? We could stumble upon an entire army waiting for their chance to strike. We need to find this gateway and seal it for good unless we've got the brazen balls to send them all rats. Lastly, the actual brass heart they're so fond of is somewhere in 2427, deep on the ground I'd imagine. Based on some of the things they've said it can do, we need to find it as soon as possible. I'm certain that it is a getter of the worst sort. O5, consider this my formal request for additional containment resources, lots of them. In low. SCP-2427 is a minefield of anomalous threats, disguised as a sanctuary for a twisted fate. The so-called purity of the brazen heart is nothing more than a testament to the violent and intolerant practices of its followers. As usual, the SCP Foundation sees more value in exploring these dangers than in neutralizing them for good. It's astonishing how they continue to uphold their rapid ideals even when faced with such a clear reflection of what their lack of objective morality can create. Help us in uncovering more anomalies with your comments and suggestions below.
I am Virus Trisanimo. We are the GOC, and you have been informed.